Hello everyone! This is Teacher V. Welcome ka dito sa aking channel at ako ang magiging kasama mo para mas mapadali ang pag-aaral mo sa mathematics. And itong video natin for today ay para sa mga grade 10 students natin. So it's about deciles of ungrouped data. Nung unang mga videos na ginawa ko is about quartiles. Okay? Kasi yung measures of position natin, uh, composed of quartiles, deciles, and percentiles. So, natapos na natin yung quartiles. Ngayon naman, pag-usapan natin yung deciles. So, quarter four na tayo. Malapit na malapit na natin matapos ang ating school year. Okay, so, bago tayo mag-start, i-click mo muna yung like button. Tapos, hindi ka pa nakasubscribe, pwede, pwede kang mag-subscribe sa channel ko. Mag-iwan din ng comment kung nakatulong sa'yo ang video na to. Or, pwede mo rin naman i-share sa iba. So, ating learning targets or competencies ay to illustrate deciles of ungrouped data. And at the same time, magkukompute din tayo for deciles of un ungrouped data. So, define muna natin yung ibig sabihin ng deciles. So, pag sinabi natin deciles, these are the nine score values that divide a distribution into 10 equal parts. Naaalala ninyo sa quartiles, sa quartiles, dinidivide niya yung distribution into four equal parts. So, dito sa deciles, sampu, okay, 10 equal parts naman. So, you can see na ito yung ating distribution, let's say ito yung ating distribution, then hinati natin sa sampu, tig sa sampu sila. Okay, so we have here the 10%, 10% up to here para maging 100%. So yung fifth decile is also the median of the set data. Of course, kasi ito yung nasa gitna. Okay, middle score, 50%. So fifth decile is also equivalent to the median. And the first decile is here, found here, second decile, third decile, up to ninth decile. So, paano ba tayo magkukumpute nito? Nadali lang din kasi parang same lang din naman siya ng quartiles. Okay? Nagbago nga lang. Kung sa quartiles, uh, over 4 or 1 fourth, ganun. Dito, over 10. So, let's say the list below shows the test scores of grade 10 students. So, 18, 21. Okay, so, ayan, and so on. And you're going to find the third decile. So, ang gagawin natin, Unang step, i-arrange muna natin yung data natin in ascending order or maliit to 2, malaki. So, we have 15 as yeah. our lowest and then 29 as the highest. Lagyan na rin natin ng numbering. Okay, para mamaya, pag tinignan natin yung data natin, madali na lang sa atin na mag-identify. So, step 2, gagamitin natin yung formula natin na K over 10. So, yung K depende kung pang ilang decile ba. Kung first decile, second, or so on. Then, yung n is the total elements or the total number of data. Okay, so n plus 1. So, let's say, ang hinahanap nga natin is the third decile. So, ibig sabihin, ang k natin is 3. So, we have 3 over 10. Then, i-multiply natin sa sum ng 9 and 1. Bakit naging 9? Kasi ang ating data is 9. So, 9 plus 1. So, that is 10. Then, okay, madali na lang natin itong masusog. Kasi 10 times 3 is 30. Divide by 10 or simply cancel na lang natin yan. Ang makukuha is 3. So, ang position na ating third decile is 3. Hindi pa ito yung mismong decile natin, ha? Ito pa lang yung position niya. Alright? So, ibig sabihin, third position. So, balik tayo ngayon sa data. Asaan yung third position o yung pangatlo sa ating mga data? So, makikita nga natin na yun ay sa 18. Ibig sabihin, ang ating third decile is equal to 18. And what does it mean? So, ibig sabihin nun, 30%, okay, 3. Third decile, so 30% yun. 30% of the students have a test scores of less than or equal to 18. Alright? Next, another uh, example. The list below shows the test scores of grade 10 students. Ang um, hahanapin naman is yung 7th decile. So, ganun ulit ang steps. I-arrange muna natin yung data natin. Highest to highest. Then, lagyan natin ng label para hindi tayo malito later. And then, kunin natin yung position na ating 7th decile gamit yung ating formula. So, K over 10 
times the sum of n and 1. So, ang k na natin dito, kanina, third decile, kaya yung k is 3. Pero here, ang decile natin is 7. Okay? So, magiging 7 over 10. Then, yung ating n is 9 pa rin. So, 9 yung ating data. 9 plus 1 is 10. Then, 10 times 7, or simply cancel na lang natin yung 10. The position of position na ating 7th decile is 7. So, ito yung position niya, hindi pa ito yung 7th decile. So, tingin ulit tayo sa ating data. So, 7th position. Asan dito sa data natin yung pang 7? Okay, so makikita nga natin na yun ay 27. So, ang 7th decile natin is 27. So, therefore, so 7th decile, ibig sabihin 70%. 70% of the students have a test scores of less than or equal to 27. Another example, so meron tayong panibagong set of data and then ang hahanapin natin is yung third decile and sixth decile. So i-arrange ulit yung ating data, lowest to highest. Okay, then nilagyan natin ng numbering para hindi tayo malito. Then kunin natin yung position niya by using our formula. K over 10, then multiply natin sa sum ng n plus 1. So, ang k natin, since ang hinahanap natin is third decile, so 3. So, 3 over 10, then ang ating n na rito ay 12. 12 plus 1, so that is 13. Then, 13 times 3 is 39, then divide by 10, so we have 3.9. So, ang position na ating third decile is 3.9. So, paano ngayon ang gagawin natin kung may decimal? So, meaning to say, ang ating third decile is between the third score and fourth score. Ano ba yung third and fourth score natin? So, 46 and 49. So, yun ngayon yung gagamitin natin reference. So, gamitin natin yung interpolation. Yun yung interpolation. So, again, ang kinukuha is third decile. Tapos, ang nakuha natin na position niya is 3.9 and between third and fourth element. So, we have here 46 and 49. Ang unang step is we're going to subtract the third element to the fourth element. So, ibig sabihin, 46, uh, 49 minus 46 is equal to 3. Then, ano yung decimal part na ating 3.9? Ano yung decimal part niya? So, ang decimal part niya is yung 0.9. Then, 0.9, itimes natin sa nakuha nating result sa number 1, step 1, which is 3. So, 0 0.9 times 3, the answer is 2.7. And then, yung 2.7, ia-add natin dun sa mas mababang uh, score na kinuha na, na pinag-compare natin kanina, yung 46 and 49. So, 46 yung mas mababa. So, ia-add natin dun yung 2.7. So, 46 plus 2.7, the answer is 48.7. So, therefore, our third decile is 48.7. E, paano naman yung next na hinahanap pa natin, yung sixth decile? Again, I-arrange ulit ang data into lowest to highest. Pagkatapos, kunin natin yung position niya. So, gamitin ulit natin yung formula na k over 10 times the sum of n plus 1. Okay, so 6 decile na tayo, kaya 6 over 10. Then, 13 times 6, and then divide mo sa 10. Ang answer dyan is... 7.8. So, ibig sabihin, ang position ng 6th decile natin is between 7 and 8th score. Kasi 7.8 eh. So, 7 and then itong 8. Alright. Now, gamitin ulit natin yung interpolation. So, sa 6th decile, we have 7.8 as the position. And between 7 and 8 element data. Subtract lang ulit natin. 59 minus 57 is 2. And then yung decimal part ng 7.8, so 7.8 yung decimal lang niya, 0 0.8, it times natin sa 2, sa nakuha natin sa step 1. So we have 1.6, and then yung 1.6, i-add natin dito sa mas mababang value na kinumpare natin, which is yung 57. 57 plus 1.6, the answer is 58.6. So, therefore, 6 decile is 58.6. So, nang gamitin ang uh, interpolation, linear interpolation, kapag merong decimal, yung nakuha yung position, gamit yung formula natin kanina. Alright? Pero kung wala naman siyang decimal point, so, pwede na stop na tayo doon, i-identify na natin kung ano yung element na naandoon sa 
position na nakuha natin, na na-solve or na-compute natin. Okay, now, let's wrap up. So, tandaan na ang decils are the nine score values that divide the distribution into 10 equal parts. And ito yung gagamitin natin formula para ma-compute yung position ng ating decils. So, K over 10 times the sum of N and 1. And once na nakuha na natin yung position niya, pwede na natin ngayong i-identify kung ano ba doon sa data natin yung pang second, pang third, and so on. Kung merong mang decimal point kayo nakuha dito sa position niya, gamitin niyo yung interpolation. Alright? Okay, so that's it for our lesson for today. I hope na may natutunan kayo kay Teacher V. Kaya wag mong kalimutan na mag-subscribe sa aking channel or you can follow me also on my Facebook page, V Teach Channel. Okay, like mo na and share mo din sa mga classmate mo. Alright, bye-bye!